Hello everyone, my name is Dennis and you are watching Close to Algo Trading. As you may remember, we are trying to build a profitable trading strategy using deep learning. So far, our approach looked like this. We observed market conditions trying to find inefficiencies, then we created simple rules and prepared the data. After the data preparation and data labeling is done, we implemented our deep learning model. And we found that our direct approach doesn't work, because we don't really think about our data. Well, what's next? We are going to create new rules, new model, collect more data and so on. It sounds a little boring. It's more interesting to try to find a way where the algorithm will do all those steps alone. For that reason, we will look in other direction, namely have a look at reinforcement learning. Why reinforcement learning? If you follow what is happening in the world, then you know what success reinforcement learning algorithms have achieved. They beat in human in chess, Dota, Go and other games. But not only the games. Reinforcement learning is used for control robotics and self-driving cars. Why we cannot use it for trading? Will it be successful? Well, I have no idea, but it will be interesting to try. Today I will give you a short introduction into reinforcement learning, and we will learn the main definitions. What is reinforcement learning? Well, I can say that it is learning by trial and error, and solving a problem of optimal control. In other words, we can try to find the action which will be the best in the specific state of a given environment, so we can maximize the final numeric reward. I really like the simple pictures that could explain the process of reinforcement learning. You can imagine a trader who is sitting in front of a monitor, buying and selling stocks. So, the trader is the agent and chart price and broker are environment. The agent observes the current environment states and takes an action. For example, buy a stock, and immediately he receives a reward as broker's fees. Also, there is a new state appears. Agent has some amount of stock and the price is changed. In the next state, agent could buy more stocks, sell or do nothing. After a trading day is finished, the agent get a final reward. It could be positive or negative. The goal of the agent is maximizing the final reward. Well, the goal of reinforcement learning is to design agents that can learn by interacting with an environment. Before we go deeper into the details, let us stay a bit and get familiar with the main definition that we will be using in the future. Agent. As we already told, is an algorithm that will take a decision to perform an action, observe environment, receive feedback, and try to maximize the reward. Environment is the world where the agent resides. All data that are available for our agent. Based on this data, the agent will take an action. State the configuration of the environment that the agent senses. Reward it's a feedback that the agent receives after any action it has taken. It is the value that the agent wants to maximize. One important thing about the reward in terms of reinforcement learning. It doesn't mean that it should be the amount of money or something like a trophy. For the algorithms, it's just a numeric value. It could be also negative. And we try to maximize this value. The next one is an action. Action is anything what the agent capable of doing in the given environment. Let's keep it simple and say that we have only three actions. Buy, sell or do nothing. And the last one is episode. Episode represent one complete run of the whole task. There are some other important definitions, but we will cover them in the next videos. So, it was a simple introduction into the reinforcement learning. In the next video, we will learn about the environment and try to create our own environment for TensorFlow agent. See ya!